Jen on the Outreach Officer for the Ordinary Wildlife Trust. Today I'm going to take you on a walk uh, called Zigzag and Fort Comp, which is put together by Visit Alderney. Uh, this walk is two and a half miles and takes about an hour and a half, unless you're like me and you're looking at lots of like wildlife and the views and it can take a bit longer. But uh, we start here outside the Information Centre. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's go. I just wanted to point out the flowers that are growing along the walls here because they're really, really pretty, but quite often they do get overlooked. now known as Gaffoni and this is actually the best place on the island to see the Dartford Warbler. Um, other birds that you can see include the stone chat, the rock pipit and if you're really lucky in summer you might even see the hoopoe. This bird actually migrates here from Africa and it's like a cockatoo looking bird uh, with the cinnamon pl plumage. It's really beautiful. Um, so if you're into bird watching take your binoc down and have a look around. Over in the distance there we have Baru, so this is where our puffins like to live. So we have around 167 breeding pairs. Um, they normally arrive towards the end of March and beginning of April. And I'll let you guys know on Facebook, so make sure you follow us to find out. So behind me we have Fort Clark, and then to the left of Fort Clark is the bay known as Hadeen Bay. It's a really nice location to come and watch the sunset. I actually have a video clip of this, so I'll add that on to the end of this video. But the other thing that I really like about this site, it's one of the best places I've ever been to spot the snake lock sea anemone. So if you are interested, make sure you come down at low tide. So over to my left we have Conk Bay. This is a rocky intertidal shore. Um, it's a really great place to go rock feeling, so you can get all sorts of mega fauna, including green ormers, uh, lots of different types of starfish, and lots of different types of crabs. So we have edible crab, Montague's crab, and porcelain crabs, for example. Um, but it's also, because of this rich diversity of mega fauna, it also supports a really uh, good population of seabirds. So you can see common ring plover down here, you can see oyster catchers, curl ewes, and little egrets. Um, and right now, at the moment, I can even see some gallants flying over, so it's really beautiful great place for wildlife so make sure you come down and have a look. So this section of pathway that I'm walking along is known as Pont Martin. It was originally the largest of three dams supplying the water mill downstream here. This observation tower and the adjacent bunker housed the German Luftwaffe HQ and listening post during World War II. It's now known locally as the Water Tower. Okay, so we finished the walk. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know what you thought in the comments below um, and I'll see you next time.